Hey guys, it's Grace here. I'm going to show you all the different ways you can wear a Christina convertible dress. It's made of this dreamy tulle fabric and ties so many different ways. It comes with two extra long front streamers about 33 inches longer than the body of the dress for optimal convertibility. It also comes with an extra streamer should you need it to help with converting the dress. What's great about this dress is that it actually features a raw cut edge, so if the streamers are too long for you after the look is tied up, you can simply cut them with scissors or work with your tailor to do it for you. Okay, so let's get started. The most classic way to wear this dress is as a simple strapless. All you need to do is pull the two front streamers back and wrap it around your waist to create a really polished look. You can also wear it as a classic halter by pulling the two streamers up and tying it around your neck. A high halter neckline is a great choice if you need extra bust support. To get the look, bring the streamers up to the top of your neck and tie it at your throat before bringing the streamers back. One of my favorite ways to wear Christina is with a Gratian neckline. What you need to do is tie the streamers at the top center of the sweetheart neckline, then bring them back. To create sleeves, keep the knot at the top of the sweetheart neckline, then pull the fabric down to cover your shoulders. For a crisscross neckline, bring each streamer across your body and over the opposite shoulder. You can also create a crisscross back by doing the same thing. A simple v-neck is also really easy to achieve and it's great if you need extra bust support. Simply pull the streamers up and over your shoulders. For thin straps in the back, pull the streamers straight down and thread them through the loopholes before wrapping it around your body. Create delicate butterfly sleeves by pulling the straps over your shoulders and crisscrossing it in the back, then fan out the fabric to create sleeves. I'm a huge fan of the one shoulder look. To get it, pull both streamers up and across your body over one shoulder. Twist it once or twice at the top of your shoulder to secure the straps in place before creating the back. For a solo sleeve, pull both streamers up and across your body over one shoulder again, but fan out the fabric to create a sleeve. A twisted one shoulder is similar to the classic one shoulder, but you can twist it a couple more times to create a really pretty roped look. I'm a huge fan of a cold shoulder cutout. I just think it looks incredibly chic. Bring the streamers to one side and tie it at the top of the sweetheart neckline. Pull one streamer over your shoulder and the other around your arm. What's really great about this dress is that you can get creative with the way you style the back as well. Um, it's nice because the fabric lends itself really nicely to tying a nice tight bow. If you're going strapless, pull the streamers back and wrap it around your body once more before tying it into a bow. If you're doing any variation of a halter up front, you can tie it into a bow around your neck in the back and let the streamers just hang for a really dramatic, ethereal look. To create a tee back, tie the streamer once around your neck, then bring them both straight down. Tie it again at the back line before wrapping it around your waist. With these streamers, always be sure to pull them through the belt loops to keep them secure. For a triangle cutout, tie it around your neck, then pull the streamers down to the sides and through the belt loops again before wrapping it around your body. For a twist back, tie it around your neck, then twist it into a rope until it hits the back line of the dress, then bring the streamers back and around your body. There's so many other ways you can style this dress, so feel free to get a little creative and see what you come up with. 